Welcome to the channel guys, VST here with this Tech and today we are going to talk about the digital well-being which is updated in the latest One UI 4 and the 12th iteration running of course on the Samsung phones and there are some very nice and exciting stuff I want to show how you can use it to your benefit, how you can set it up, how you can make it work for you. And of course, I will also cover the power and controls because digital well-being right now covers also the power and controls. So what you're gonna learn in this video is how to use the screen time, how you can set custom up timers, bed mode, and also power and controls. Welcome to my channel guys and if you are here for the first time you might want to subscribe for more videos like this if you decide to do this yeah high five virtually shaking your hand thank you very much and now let's start the video without any further ado first thing first is how you can access the digital well-being and the parking controls that's very easy guys if you're on your home screen you just need to go for your quick settings and then go to your settings scroll down a bit and it's going to be here just below the advanced features we have the digital well-being and the power and controls so let's go inside what is digital well-being when you enter for the first time the application you're going to get this greeting here improve your digital habits one step at a time i believe this is put very correctly you're going to see later why so the first thing you're going to see once you're inside is this dashboard here the first dashboard is going to show you your most used applications so it's early in the day it's 10 26 so i have 52 minutes which is obviously normal four hours less than yesterday which means that i'm using like four hours per day which is yeah i think quite too much i've used telegram for 25 minutes i've used chrome for seven minutes and i also use youtube for six minutes so today i have 52 minutes of usage and this is going to be actually the first dashboard now guys you can also click here and this is going to give you a weekly report so my daily average screen time is four hours 38 minutes one hour and 30 minutes less than last week so my top application this week youtube almost 10 hours facebook 4 hours 26 and telegram for about 3 hours this here indicates the time period from the 2nd of january until the 8th of january is the first week and guys we have this three dot here the hamburger menu when you click it you can go and decide to block notifications but you will not get notifications when this report is ready so i decide to really get them once a week you're gonna get a notification hey your weekly report is ready all right now this was this week guys if you go and you can just click on individual days you'll be able to see your screen time for the individual days like for sunday i had five hours 34 monday five hours 28 wednesday was a bit better on three hours and 18 and you just see how this thing goes back on the main screen so this was the first dartboard showing you your top three applications used and of course they are really highlighted by this color here so you can very easily see which really is your favorite application now let's go to the second dashboard it's called your goals right and you can just see here i have an indication screen time and i have a bar here that is showing two hours and 45 minutes remaining now when i go inside guys you see january 12th it's today you've got this so why do i get this two hours and 44 minutes remaining because i've just set a goal of three hours 37 minutes which was really suggested by my phone for my daily usage so right now guys i have set a goal for three hours 37 minutes i've used two hours 44 minutes at some point when i'm going to reach these three hours my phone will let me know at some point during the day when i'm reaching this goal my phone is going to let me know hey you have reached your daily usage and i'm gonna be alerted so this is the idea of the goals of course here there is also a menu so you can apparently delete the goal or you can also change the goal so let's say today i want to play a bit more okay and yeah let's go for four hours 40 minutes boom now goal is four hours 40 minutes and i have three hours remaining you're right on track this is the idea to set up the goals to just try to manage your usage there is one more exciting menu in the your goals it's called up timers when you click inside you're gonna see something like this all of your applications and i have set up a timer for one application which is youtube so timer set one application youtube 60 minutes out of 10 what does this mean when i click inside guys i'm gonna get the same idea so i have set up a timer for youtube and i put it on to 10 minutes just to try to show you in this video i've already used six minutes from my 10 minutes daily usage so when this approaches the 10 minutes i'm gonna get a notification so that i'll know hey 
I've used YouTube that much time. But it's even better than this. Inside, guys, you're going to see notifications received. So today I've received three notifications from YouTube, which is 14 less than yesterday. And you can also see how many times you have opened the applications. And this is really very useful information. Let me show you something interesting. I'm now back on the main menu under the first dashboard and I'm going to click on Telegram and you can just see guys, when I just go down a bit, you can see how much times I've opened the applications. So 13 times just today, 62 times less than yesterday. I don't have any notifications because my Telegram notifications are blocked, but let me just show you YouTube. If I click on YouTube guys, you're going to see three notifications for less than yesterday and I've opened it five times already, 31 times less than yesterday. So this is just the daily usage, by the way, you can click on weekly and you can just see all this nice information, how many notifications you have received and how many times you've opened the applications. And by doing this, you'll be able to get things under control, of course, if you want so. So this has been the your goals. Then we have something called ways to disconnect. And um, yeah, that's been also quite famous from the OnePlus Oxygen, like the Zen mode and etc. So we have focus modes, we have work time, you have me time, and of course you can also create a new one. But let me just show you. So let's just click on the work time. You're gonna get greeted by this menu. Need some time yourself. All applications are going to be blocked in focus mode, except for the application that you choose. So all your notifications are gonna be blocked when you're in the focus mode, except the applications that you've excluded. So let me just click here the start button, allow access to notifications, all right? You need to of course do this for the first time. Digital well-being not allowed, so I'm going to hit allow. Okay, and you are granting access to digital well-being to be able to read block your notifications. So let me just hit start one more time. Work time. Okay, so to help you stay focused, you can only use these applications. So the clock, <laughs> the Google Play, the messages, and etc. Duration until I turn it off. All right, now what will happen when I click the start button, I'm going to be really in this focus mode, okay? And guys, once you're in the focus mode, you can only use the application you have pre-selected. So right now, if I click here, I'm going to be able to open Google Play Store. When I try to exit, see everything else is great. So let's say I want to turn Telegram. Yep, stay focused. I'm not able to do so. I need to go back to focus mode. And of course, I can end it. Once you decide to end the focus mode, you're going to also see how many notifications you have missed and etc. and etc. Now, honestly, that would not be a thing for me to use that uh, often, but it's it's a good thing. It's there, so you know we can use it. And after using it, you're going to get the focus mode summary. When you click inside, you're going to get access to the same information I showed you before. Then we have another dashboard. It's called the bedtime mode. Sleep is very important for our help. When you are using the bedtime mode, the screen will change to gray scale, then call alerts and other sounds will be muted. And then when you guys click start, right, you can turn it on. And this is using the same idea as the focus mode. But see, now <laughs> my screen really is, you know, gray scale. So I can, of course, access all my applications. Well, yeah, I think that you get the idea and you know how dangerous the blue light is and using your phone in bed just before going to sleep is a very bad idea. So yeah, those are really topics that have been exploited over the past decade. So I'm not going to focus too much on this, but you get this. So end bedtime mode. Now we're back to normal. We have now another dashboard called the comfort care volume monitor. Now, honestly, I'm not using this, but the idea from the volume monitor is for you to use some safe volume levels. And actually, guys, if you're listening like four hours per day with your headphones, then it will be ideal for you to listen somewhere around 83 decibels. If you're using it for eight hours, then yeah, it's going to be 80 because all these exposures above 80 can really damage your hearing. And the phone can monitor, right, the level of volumes you're using and just give you some alerts. Hey, you know, you're, you know, listening too loud or etc. Please, you know, go set it up. So it can be actually very useful. Then we have the driving monitor. I don't have an option to use that one because it has to connect to the car's Bluetooth. And you all know I'm driving a BMW E39 from the 98. But yeah, you apparently can do stuff also with your car and while driving, which is kind of nice. And then guys, last but not least, we have a whole other section incorporated into the digital well-being, and it's called the parental controls. So check on your kids. The way this works, once you click on it, you're gonna get to the Google Family Link. Okay, you can supervise this phone remotely with the Family Link for parents. You can keep an eye on the screen time and set some limits. And of course, you can restrict some of the applications and etc. Once you're here, you have to answer some questions. Who is gonna be using this device? It could be either your child 
or it could be either that you are the parent and then you can just do this on the other phone and you can connect both phones so i'm not going to explore this into great details i did by the way a video on something very similar called family safe you can check it here but you get the idea so this guys is the digital well-being and I just think it is a great way for you to manage you know, some of your habits. Maybe you have decided to go and pursue a healthier lifestyle in 2022. Well, this can be really one of your best friends and ways of doing this. I really hope that you have liked this video. If that's the case, guys, yeah, just let me know down below in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart. And guys, please stay safe, you and your families. And with that said, VST over and bye.